Hey clarinet players, today we're going to go over how to put your clarinet away after you've been playing it. Um, so I've already got my clarinet set up. I'm pretending that I've just played it for a whole band class and I'm ready to put it away. So first of all, I've got my case here on my lap and I'm just going to go through step by step what I do to normally put away my clarinet. The first thing I'm going to take off so it doesn't get hurt is my reed. I'll loosen my ligature up. Take my reed, and I'm going to safely just slide that into my reed guard here. Don't need to push it in very hard, just in like that. That's great. Put that in the case. Done. That reed is safe now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, let's start with the bell. I'll take that off. And all of these parts, they just come off just by lightly, lightly twisting, just the opposite of what you do as you're putting it together. Um, each of these parts I take, I'm going to swab them. So I have a green swab here. The reason I'm going to use this is when we play the clarinet, um, our breath is going into the instrument, our breath has moisture content, and as that cools down inside the clarinet, it does turn into water, and uh, you want to get all of that out of there before putting the instrument away. Otherwise, it might get moldy and kind of smelly. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this weighted part of the swab right through and then just pull the cloth through the bell. If it has moisture left over, you can check. You can pull it through again until it's all clean. Then I will do the mouthpiece next. For the mouthpiece, same thing. I'm going to put the weight through the small opening of the mouthpiece it through. You'll notice that the mouthpiece does have a lot of moisture when you're playing it. Um, right, that's where your mouth goes, that's where a lot of your breath goes. And then I'm going to put the ligature back on top and stir those two things together. And I even have a little cap for my mouthpiece too, so it just keeps everything safe. I'll put that in the case. I will show you guys what the case looks like at the end of this video, so to make sure you put everything in its right spot. Next I'll do the barrel. Again, we swab that. You get quick at swabbing the more you do it. And now that's all that's left is the upper joint and the lower joint. So we can tell which one is the upper joint by that logo. The lower joint is a little bit longer. So just like when we put the clarinet together, we have to find this key right there and hold it down. Same deal, we have to hold that down as we're taking it apart. So small twists back and forth, not big tip twists so that the metal parts are hitting together, just small ones, it'll come apart. I'll start by swabbing my lower joint. So you have to be a little bit more careful with that, get the weight all the way down, there we go. Pull it through. Finally, the upper joint. A lot of the times in band classes, I'll have the clarinets start putting away their instruments a couple minutes early, just so they have their instruments packed up um, in time for the end of class. It does take them about five minutes or so. Once I'm done all my swabbing, I can wrap this around it, just keep it nice and compact. That's gonna go in the side. So now, everything is away in my case. Here's what it looks like when everything is in its right place. So I've got the lower joint here, the bell, the barrel, the mouthpiece with the ligature on it and the cap, and then right at the front is the upper joint. So if you're noticing things aren't fitting quite right, it's just kind of like a puzzle, so try a different way and it will work. And then on the side there, that's where I'm keeping my extra things like my cork grease, my, um, my swab, my mouthpiece, or rather my reed and my reed guards, and anything else you might want to keep in there. And then finally, when you close the case, make sure the Yamaha side is up, and these should close nice and easy. If you find that the case isn't quite closing, maybe because something isn't right, let's just put that upside down just to show you. Now you can see there's a bit of the gap, and the case isn't closing tight, so just make sure if it's not closing good, you just want to check to make sure everything is in its right spot. And 
should look like that.